Yes, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back in the Jaguar. The beautiful, the divine, the oh-so-90s Jaguar XJ220. Uh, and we're going to do race two of our one, two, three, four, five, six races in the hypercar parade now. I know they've added a few. Um, and we're going to go into Japan, the Kyoto Driving Park, and we're going to do that one. So, four laps at the Yamagiwa, Yamajiwa, and Miyabi, I do not know. My enunciations are terrible, I do apologise. Uh, but that is what we're going to go and do. And we're going to have a little bit of fun. Because um, this is quite a fast track. Um, I quite like the uh, Divine Comedy, like, 60-minute race here in the uh, 550 uh, performance-rated cars. Um, it's quite a nice little event. Uh, but we've not done anything since we had the race at Trial Mountain. It's got all the bolt-on goodies that we can. Uh, anything that's permanent is not on it, apart from the first weight reduction. Uh, and slick tyres, so... Yeah, uh, let's see if it goes as well here as it did in America. And we can't see anything because of the sun. Excellent job. Oh, that was early on the... Oh, were they early or was I late? I think I was late. I do like this circuit. I really do like this circuit. It is a great track. Sneak up the inside of that Lamborghini. That was sideways on the grass. Now, in theory, we could bring anything here, couldn't we, and do this event? As long as it's a road... Ooh, that was a little bit too much rear brake. As long as it's a road car, I guess it doesn't really matter, does it? Can we adjust the brake balance? Yes, we can. Well, oh, hello, we're taking off. Don't want to be doing that. Oh... Look at that 911 GT1, that is awesome. And we've just rubbed a bit of paint off the side of it, oh well. McLaren F1, the other big hitter from the 90s, UK wise. Very, very nice car. Tiny little thing they are as well. If you ever get to see one in the flesh, they are a tiny little thing. You wouldn't think you'd be able to get a 6.2 litre V12 in it. Discretion is the better part of valour, apparently, so we'll wait. That is a long old corner. Now up the hill, get ready for the flick to the right. And then on the brakes, because the left hand is tight. And this takes us down the hill to that little chicane. Oh, come on, Mr. Veyron. Down the hill to this little chicane. Abuse the kerb, but if you're going to abuse the kerb, go early. Don't abuse it late, it'll spit you off into the barrier. Oh, it is a busy lap. It's a good lap, though. It's a good test of a car. Can't see a thing. Those are sun visors. Yeah, that lap time. 2.30. <laughs> I think our fastest lap was in the low 240s when we we just gone there with a cappuccino. I felt like a bit of an idiot as well because I was like, oh, I found a cheat code for this race. I'll use the cappuccino. No one's obviously used the cappuccino. Yeah, they have. The cappuccino is all over the leaderboards. I felt like an absolute idiot. And I told you a lie last time as well. I'm sure I did. I'm sure I said this had the same headlights as a DB9. It doesn't. It's the same headlights as a DB7. Obviously, the DB9 was a later. Oh, that's going to get a bit tight. Yeah, we're on the grass. We don't want to be on the grass. So we've just took a chunk out of Vulcan. Which, no matter which Vulcan it is, it's probably not a good idea. Oh, here we go. 918 Spider and Enzo. If ever there were two cars from two different trains of thought. Oh, that 918 Spider is fast. It's got some go. Got no grip, though. Oh, 
Oh, this Jag. It's just delightful. I was worried with it having such a long wheelbase. It might not want to handle too well, but... She's really nice. Come on. Back up the hill. Oh, I could do thousands of laps of this place. Now get bored. It is a great track. I was the same on GT4. The old test track. I'm not sure how many people remember the old test track, but it was a long old lap that. It took months to learn that. Months and months. Remember, I was getting ready to go on a deployment, 2001. That wouldn't have been four, would it? That would have been three. I think that was Gran Turismo 3. Gran Turismo 4 was a bit later on. Maybe 2004, 2005-ish, but... Yeah, the test track. I'm sure it was Gran Turismo 4. Might have been in three as well, but what a track that was. Ridiculous, like, spiral corners and... God knows what else in it. 228. It's going some map. Oh, I just like this car. Ooh, although that's not great. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What have we done there? Got ourselves in a bit of a pickle with the corners. I thought that was like the really long double apex one. Nah, that's at the other side of the, that track. What an idiot. That's an idiot. Yeah, I thought that one was this one. There you go, look, run wide and then it just lets you straighten up the exit back up the hill. She's nice. Oh, she's real nice. Now, there is an endurance race where you're limited. I don't know if it's 700 or 600, but it gives you the option of using it. It'll be 600 because it gives the option of using... No, no, it's a Group 4 car or a road car. I think there's some legs in that. It's a shame you can't replay them and get the money again. Because they're quite good little events. They're a bit of a challenge. You've got to think about your setup, what you're doing fuel-wise, tyres-wise. The cappuccino took the piss, basically. I can see why people have used it and done 24 laps. We would have got 23, but we had a spin which robbed us of a lap. Push through there now. Really then get ready for the front to lift. We'll just lift off before we get there. Right. This is tight. This one is tight. There we are. Three point nine up. Come on. How far into these twenties can we get? Oh, 
We lost three seconds, I was determined to make it up. That's a little bit wide, that won't help. Just have to try extra hard through here. Be gentle, don't get on the gas early, it'll understeer. Plenty of curb. Yeah. And we're not really running any aero on this at the minute, just the standard stuff. It's very good what they've done as well, because if you put the aero on, paint it light yellow, you've basically got the TWR car that they developed as like an evolution of the XJ220. Didn't make many of them. I don't know the exact figure, but they did not make many of those kind of Evo ones in yellow. Well, I guess we can call that one done. We can, 2.22, ooh, do you know what, a few laps around there, and I reckon we could get into the 19s. Well, I guess this one's done as well. Uh, next time, we're going to St. Saint Croix, St. Saint Cross, St. Cruz, St. Somebody. Uh, that's a new event. Uh, it was added in the latest update, so that's where we're going next time. What are we going to get? A three banger that's two three bangers two days running boring although we did have two six bangers two days running so i guess it balances itself out uh yeah uh, that'll be done then so thanks for watching thanks for coming in liking subscribing all the usual jazz uh, and fingers crossed i will see you next time take care stay safe peace